How are you doing? Yeah, it's different. Uh, I went into teaching because I didn't want to sit into an, in, in an office all day. And <laughs> now I'm sitting yeah, in the yeah. office all Here day again. Hey, Hugo. Hey, Michel, how are you? Good, man. You? Good, I'm good. Thank you. I, what was it actually that we graduated from NHTV back then? Oh, man. Long time ago, 2009. So That's now a long uh, time back, ago. back at Duos, both as lecturers. How did you uh, how did you wind up here, man? Ah, uh, man, I, I after graduating, I worked in New Zealand. Um, I worked for uh, in Bar Barcelona for the W Barcelona. Mm -hmm. I worked for a small OTA. I worked for a hotel in Amsterdam, and finally, I ended up working for a marketing agency for hotels in Amsterdam. And I'm still working for them, and I'm combining that with lecturing at Buas. A great combination. Yeah, yeah. And uh, and you? How did you get end well, up? Back, back not home, so international, not so international. I uh, after graduating, I started in uh, in hospital in Breda, which is called Amphia. I think we all know it from the news by now. Uh, did several management positions, also consulting positions. Uh, last three years, I worked on the pre-opening of the new hospital, and now I'm back at Buas as a lecturer. And what what do you think is the difference now between uh, Buas and the campus that we're on? Well, not physically at the moment, and the NHTV back then almost 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. well, I think if you look at Sibelius, because it was Sibelius, obviously, uh, it was a, more of a village, you know, everybody knew each other, uh, which was great. But if you look at, at the campus right now, it's, it feels like more like a city. Uh, there are more cross links between programs, which is well, obviously very enjoyable. I enjoy it very much. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. It feels more international. Um... It feels uh, it feels stronger, let's say, with the cross fertilization between all those academies and programs. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. True. Okay, so well, I think this call is obviously an example of the of, of working from home. You know, because of the yeah. outbreak of the virus. How, how do you experience yeah. it? How, how how is it? How, how are you doing? Yeah, it's different. Uh, I went into teaching because I didn't want to sit into an, in, in an office all day, and <laughs> now I'm sitting yeah, in the yeah. office all Here day again. But uh, but uh, there are some very good parts in it that we should keep. I think um, a digitalized way of teaching um, allows students to learn at their own pace and to look at video clips whenever they want, for example. But the interactive part is harder. It costs me mm. a bit more energy, but also the students, they for them, sometimes it's even hard to focus when they're sitting at home. So mm. there's some very good parts that we should keep. Uh, it helps us to innovate. And on the other side, um, yes, yeah, some things you just cannot do in a digital way. But here we are in Corona. This is uh, I'm proud of the students, how they adapt to it. How, totally how about you? How are you doing this? Totally agree. Uh, I do miss the, the, the you know, personal connection, the interaction with colleagues and students, however. Yeah. But uh, I think after the this crisis, this outbreak, I will I think we'll definitely keep some of the elements uh, because it also works. It, it works very efficiently, effectively. Yeah. So totally true. Yeah. Yeah. All, All right. right so let's uh, let's keep uh, teaching online then, and then uh, we'll see each other soon again. Hopefully on okay, campus. Take care and be safe. See you, man. Okay. Goodbye.